everyone um, welcome again to the channel today I want to share with you this uh, news uh, starting this uh, morning um, April 18 Turkey has launched a military operation in the northern part of Iraq uh, specifically is um, targeting this uh, group that is called Kurdistan Workers Party and is the north part of Iraq so what this is is uh, outright invasion but of course uh, they are calling it um, military operation so no surprises here and they are using um, airstrike campaign using jets, helicopters and drones they have a ground incursion commando, using commando troops um, so what they are doing according to the claims from Turkey is they are destroying multiple bunkers tunnels, ammunition depots as well as military headquarters of the PKK in the northern Iraq border in the areas of uh, Metina, Saab, and Abashin Bashian. Okay, so what they're saying is uh, not clear. They are not saying um, how many troops and how many, you know, airplanes or other uh, military hardware is involved in the operation. So this is. Uh, this is what it is, is uh, Turkey trying to assert itself against the Kurdish movements specifically the PKK which is recognized as a terrorist group by many countries so why is uh, um, Turkey doing this? Uh, basically because this group is, has conducted many um, terrorist attacks on Turkey's soil and so what are the objectives um, that to me is not very clear um, because uh, Kurdish is uh, a group that is entrenched in that part of the world they are um, occupying parts of uh, Syria parts of um, Iraq and uh, what Turkish, Turkish forces are doing is uh, they are targeting terrorists, of course. They are taking extra precaution to avoid the loss of civilian lives and damage to cultural heritage. Why cultural heritage? Because, as uh, you know, Iraq is uh, the cradle of civilization, so there are many areas that are um, subject to destruction if they are attacking those areas you know bombing this is what any uh, professional military will try to do you know, to try to take extra precautions to avoid the loss of civilian lives will they succeed not always uh, innocent people are going to get killed and um, this is uh, just uh, one more example of how western powers are creating problems for people you know especially in this case uh, for turkey the um, what the, this group is trying to do is to create what they call an independent kurdistan so kurds is an ethnic group that uh, for many years have been um, nomadic and they didn't have like a permanent land and when, what ended up happening is that they are displaced uh, they don't have a land, they don't have a nation uh, well they are somehow a nation you know they have their own identity but they don't have a country that they can call their own and they are uh, with the support of the United States occupying parts of um, Syria, the northern part of Syria, uh, where 
there are already there is already an occupation by U.S. forces uh, in the one of the richest parts of Syria, and there are also occupying the northern part of Iraq, again with the support of the United States, and um, in in Syria, what the Kurdish is doing are even ethnic cleansing. They are trying to get rid of the local population. They are trying to get their own um, culture to be the dominant in the area. And you you need to know that this is being supported by the United States. And what uh, they are creating is a de facto state for the Kurds in this area. And what they are trying to do is to steal this land from Syria with the help of the United States and some other countries to get some kind of political agenda done. Uh, they are famously known, the Kurds, for having participated in the so-called war against Daesh or ISIS or however they are calling it these days but they, they are of course uh, being supported by the United States and this is uh, just how how the United States is uh, sticking it up to Turkey they don't care about their national security the United States just cares about their own agenda their own hegemony even though NATO includes Turkey they don't care about the in national interests of Turkey. You know, you I will uh, post a link to all this, but uh, you will be able to see some of these um, stories about uh, how the PKK they are doing a lot of um, despicable things in this part of the world. And again, as always, um, I'm against war. I think the solution for this is uh, peace. There should be some kind of negotiation for this. Uh, maybe Kurds uh, should give up their aspirations to have their own independent nation and just try to integrate into other nations. At this time in the world history, I don't think anyone, any country will give them land to call their own without uh, military coercion which is what happened uh, with the formation of Israel. It's an artificial state, artificially built, built uh, by the Western powers in someone else's land. And now we see all the consequences of this. So they are not happy with uh, what they have accomplished. They want to do it again. So what can go wrong with something that went wrong the first time and then doing it again and expecting different results so that's what it is uh, Turkey has their own security concerns they're doing this to defend their own country of course is um, they're invading Iraq de facto is an invasion because I don't think they ask Iraq for permission to enter their own territory and conduct this military operation. We don't know how long this military operation is going to take. We don't know what are the goals, the objectives of this operation. Um, I mean, unless um, they completely eliminate the Kurds in this region, this problem is not going to get away. I will guess uh, it's a very, very complex issue for Turkey, um, I don't see an easy solution. Really, is um, of course is um, they have their own desires, their own plans. Uh, I don't see how this can be solved by war. Probably, this could have a much better solution by diplomacy, by talks, uh, negotiations. Uh, Maybe it has been attempted, uh, but there are always, you know, radical groups in every nation. So this is what it is. Um, we will wait. We will need to wait and see 
what more information becomes available about this so I anyway it is nothing positive coming out of this uh, probably Turkey will accomplish some goals uh, Turkey is a very strong military they are very well equip equipped and let's see what what uh, will happen so let me know in the comment section what is your opinion about this and if you have any questions um, and as always I ask you to please like this video share and subscribe to the channel to continue to receive notifications for future videos so I hope to see you again in the next one thank you for watching